hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel this is gb milena and i want to show you how i made this satellite fascinator some of the material i use is cinnamon i use the stretchy lace i use the binding and the wire glue and of course i use the base of the fascinator the base has been done earlier and if you don't know how to mold a base then you can check some of my youtube uh, videos there you will see some videos which i show or demonstrate how to mold i use 40 meters wire and I use the binding to cover it after putting the glue on the binding and as you can see I use the steam iron to press on the binding so that it can be fastened so that it can glue properly you don't want it to remove when or after you are finished with your work covering the wire will help you to conceal the wire as well as to make it to blend with your fabric therefore your choice of the binding should be the same with your fabric here i've finished with the wire the covering of the wiring trying to secure it this is my stretchy list i'm uh here i use one meter but you may not necessarily use the whole meter because if you are using 40 meters of wire, then you may not necessarily use the full meter. But it is safer to have a meter so that you will not be short of fabric at the end of the day. I first tied the knot in the inside, which may not be necessary. Then you flip over the fabric making sure that it covers by flipping it over the wire. And then you make sure that you have pleatings. You see, I was I, I picked it up so that it can have pleatings. After that, I use a needle that has been threaded to pick up those pleats so that it will be secure and I will uh, the pleat will not be uh, will not fade out when I'm working with it. It is necessary for you to pick all the pleats because if you don't pick all the pleats, they will be sagging. It will be sagging. See, I, I have to pick all the pleats so that it will not sag because we need a firm uh, base and that is it. So the satellite is done now, ready for the next step. At the center, I'm going to put the fascinator base there. And this is my molded fascinator. Just want to take off the pins and then get it ready to for usage. It has been dried and ready for usage you carefully remove the cinnamon from the fascinator mold cutting it and make sure that you don't squash the base you wire the fascinator base I've measured the, the wire and I've already made sure that is the size of the fascinator base. Now I just wire it using my thread and needle to sew the wire on the fascinator base. The wire will help the base to be firm when it is placed on the head. That is the essence or the purpose of the wire that you put in the base.
I'm done with the wiring. Now I want to use pink cinnamon because I'm using a pink series pink uh, satellite. And so I'm going to also use series pink to cover the wire. You cut your cinnamon on the bias and you fold it, fold the first side and the second side and then fold it into two. That's how I'm folding it into two. And after that, the strip is ready for you to use on the fascinator. And that's how you fix it into the fascinator. Then you take it to sewing. I've finished sewing it. The, the next thing is that I use pressing iron. It is important to press after sewing because it helps the fascinator to be neat as well as all the edges can be it can become soft and then you can mold it together so that it will not have a scruffy edges. This is how I want my fascinator to look like. Then I take it to the sewing, I sew it. And that's the place pointed to. That's the sewing. After that, then I cut out the inner side. And because it has been sewn on the edges, then it is secured. You cut the center to reveal the cup. And then you use your binding to cover it. And that is the end. And you may decide to add few trimmings but for this i decide to put a flower because the lace is already busy and i don't want it to be busier thank you for watching please like share subscribe and press the notification button for more videos thank you